everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you another episode of my Real vs Fake series. This time featuring the Louis Vuitton Keep All in size 55 and monogram Macassar. So if you're curious to learn how to spot the differences between real and fake, then please keep on watching. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, I want to do a short disclaimer at first. I know that I usually like hold up both bags like this, but because of how large and then how heavy they are, this isn't going to be possible for this video. So I will try to stick to the point, talk short and sweet, and then have a long section of close-ups and like mod shots and so that you can see actually and compare because First you're not going to be able to see and then this will be like a horrible arm workout for me so I'd rather just like not do that. Um, so first things first, let's start with the packaging as we always do. So I do have the big box for my real one but the fake factory actually didn't send me um, the box for the fake one. And normally I'm always like, mmm, there's no box. I'm like a little iffy about it. I'm already like slightly unhappy with the fake. But here it's totally understandable because I mean, the real box is like this big. It's like, I don't know, like 70 centimeters. So this was gonna take way too much space in their package. So I totally understand they did not send me the box. But they actually did send me the dust bag, which looks like this. So I'm gonna try to hold it up. So this is the dust bag for the fake one. I'm gonna try holding it like this. <laughs> and then we have the dust bag for the real one, which looks like this. So you will be able to see a lot closer from the close-ups and everything, but already there's a big difference in terms of color um, for the real one, which is here. It's much more of like a yellowy beige. Um, here it's much like of a colder tone color. There's also a big difference in terms of the font um, for Louis Vuitton and then the size of the font as well. The size of the dust bag is also really different. The dust bag for the real one is huge. It is like twice as large as the one for the fake one. The one for the fake one, I mean, I feel like it can barely fit the bag and then that's about it. Um, so it actually didn't come like wrapped in it. The dust bag was like inside of the bag. So now I'm wondering if it actually even fits the bag. So when comparing both bags, the first things that I look at is obviously like the material of the bag. So right here for the Louis Vuitton key ball, it's going to be canvas. So both bags actually feature pretty much the same material. Um, I do have to say that the Fake Factory replicated this very, very nicely. I would say really the only difference is that the fake one seems a little bit more thick a little bit thicker and therefore more structured than the real one and then in terms of like the color i also feel like the fake one looks a little bit more shiny um, the appearance of the canvas is a little bit shinier than what it is for the real one so so far i feel like those are noticeable differences but then at the same time at least in my opinion they're pretty good they're like actually Actually better than the real one. The next thing that we'll talk about is going to be the dimensions of the bag. And here, um, obviously because it's such a large bag, it's kind of difficult to eyeball it. So I actually did measure both bags and they're exactly, exactly the same dimensions. Same dimension in terms of the bag itself, same dimensions for the handles, basically for everything. The dimensions really, really fit. Next up, 
we're going to have the stitching and the quilting and here it looks exactly the same like I can't see a single difference I feel like it's one of the things that I tend to look at in terms of fakes because that's oftentimes where the quality is lacking and here really it's it's exactly the same there isn't a single difference it looks beautiful on both bags Moving on now to the accessories that the bag came with. It came with exactly the same accessories. So first a lock that features two keys. Then we have a luggage tag. We have a big strap that comes into two parts. And then finally we have this kind of like a little round thing um, that you can put like on one of the handles. I'm always like wondering what that is actually for. It also came with the real one. I don't know what it's for so if you do know please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to find out what it's for but in any case um, all of these accessories are there for the fake one and they look absolutely the same as they are for the real one I mean again I can't see a single difference all of the accessories are there and they look just the same We'll have the hardware and obviously both bags feature silver hardware and to be quite frank when taking a look at fakes this is also oftentimes one way to find out if a bag is a fake or not because often they really overdo the hardware so if it's gold hardware it's gonna look like 24k gold um, if it's silver hardware it's gonna be like super duper shiny like diamond like shiny um, so that's one of the good ways to tell if a bag is fake or not and here I was like ha 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 this bag is like perfect so this is gonna be the place where they will mess up but quite frankly again not a single difference I mean the hardware looks just the same they have exactly the same tone of silver hardware on both bags We'll have the inside of the bag and so both bags feature like a single small compartment in which you can place like travel documents or basically you know any kind of small thing that you'd like um, next our inside is going to be kind of like a burgundy color it's really hard to describe I tried to look at it for like three minutes and the best difference that I came up with is the shade is slightly but like a teeny tiny 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 margin like this off on the fake one so it does seem like the fake one the shade is a little bit of a warmer shade of burgundy than the real one the real one seems like a little bit almost like purple has like purple undertones to it whereas the fake one has like red undertones to it but I mean quite frankly number one is the inside of the bag and then number two like I had to like pause and look at it for like a long time before finding out any differences And 
lastly, we'll take a look at the Makassar side of the monogram. So monogram Makassar means that the handles and everything are going to be black. More specifically, they're like matte black. Um, and the shade of black, again, is exactly the same on the fake one that it is on the real one. It looks exactly similar. Once again, I was expecting something a little bit shiny because oftentimes they overdo it on that as well, but it really wasn't the case. It's exactly the same shade of black. So in conclusion, I would say that this bag is a super fake, a super duper, super duper fake, if I could even say that. I don't think that I've ever seen any like piece that resembles the real one quite as much as this one. It was incredibly hard to film this video, first because I couldn't hold the bags, but really because there wasn't a lot to say in terms of differences. It's incredible how similar they are. Um, so if you are interested in getting this bag or anything else from the fake factory, all of the relevant links will be in the description box of the video down below for you along with the coupon code. Um, I highly recommend that you check them out first because of the quality, it was absolutely amazing. So I'm sure that it's going to be the same for any other bags, but also because for a travel bag, does it really matter if it's the real one? I mean, I obviously own the real one, but quite frankly, like it's expensive. It's the kind of bag that will get damaged very quickly, especially if you take it on an airplane. So I do recommend, especially if you plan to take it on an airplane, to get the fake one instead because it is going to be absolutely unnoticeable and you won't have spent as much money on it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was beneficial and informational for you in case you are looking at acquiring a Louis Vuitton Keepall and didn't want to get stuck with a fake. Um, good luck. It's extremely hard. I mean, I would be deathly scared of buying anything pre-loved. After having done this video, I'm just like, oh, definitely only get things from the boutique from now on. I don't think I've actually ever bought anything pre-loved, but just... I'm just like, okay, don't do that because this is insane. This is crazy. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.